being in the same conversation for going to have the relationship. I'm sorry, the last oh part my. cut off because some that's an uncomfortable me. topic. Excuse me. Can some? I, mean, I didn't hear. I'm sorry. Can you repeat your question, Jordan? We have some I background never had noise. And in being intimate with anyone. What is going on? Someone there being weird on that. Yeah, someone. Somebody's microphone is on. Hey. So, so Angel, I know you would have preferred the win, but of course, you surpassed Kenny. All right, I am back again with another coach appreciation video, and today's coach appreciation will be of the Chicago Skies head coach Teresa Weatherspoon, aka Coach Spoon. Coach Spoon was born Teresa Gay Weatherspoon in Pineland, Texas. She was born December 8th, 1965, which makes her currently 58 years old, and she stands at five foot eight. She attended Louisiana Tech, and she uh, majored in health and physical education, and she was a star basketball player. In 1988, her senior year of college, she led the Texters to the NCAA national title. Now, after college, she played overseas in Italy, France, and Russia for eight years. She is, the one, she is one of the original players of the WNBA in 1997, and she joined New York Liberty. So again, the WNBA, like it was formulated in 96. I was born in 95 because this makes me look and feel so old. Formulated in 96, it debuted in 1997. That was the same year she made her WNBA uh, debut for the New York Liberty. And she actually played alongside Miss Becky Hammond, the current head coach, for now, I'm playing, uh, let me quit, uh, for the Las Vegas Aces. In her debut game, uh, her, with her and the New York Liberty, they beat the Los Angeles Sparks. The Liberty finished the 1998 season by with eight, with 18 games won, 12 behind. This spoon averaged 6.8 points, four rebounds, and 6.4 assists. The team missed the playoffs that season, but Weatherspoon would win the Defensive Player of the Year award again in 1998, becoming the first back-to-back -back recipient of that award. Since during the 1999 WNBA Finals, Weatherspoon had one of the most memorable feats in WNBA history. In Game 2 on September 4th, 1999, I was four years old, guys, the Liberty were down 67, uh, they were down 67 to 65, so they were down two points against the Houston Comets. It's a WNBA team that has since been dissolved. Okay, this is all back in the day. With no timeouts left and 2.4 seconds left on the game clock after a shot made by Tina Thompson. After receiving the inbound pass, Weatherspoon dribbled the ball up to half court and made a game-winning shot 50 feet away from the basket to force a game three. That moment would later be referred to as the shot. Again, that's a very iconic shot. Again, I'm going to try to insert the clip of that shot in the beginning of my uh, video before my commentary. From the years 2000 to 2003, Weatherspoon would make the all-star team every year and have the same pro productivity throughout the years with no drastic dip in her scoring or rebounding abilities, showing her resilience and toughness to the organization. So when she was with the New York Liberty in the years 2000 and 2002, they did make the finals, but unfortunately they did lose both of those years. Coach Spoon's final WNBA game ever was game two of the 2004 Western Conference First round on September 26, 2004, they were going against the Sacramento Monarchs. Again, that's a WNBA team that hopefully it will be revived, but again, it has since dissolved because the Sparks won the game 71-57 to and even the series 1-1 one one, with Weatherspoon recording two rebounds in three minutes. However, Weatherspoon did not play in game three and the Sparks lost that game 58-73 to and were eliminated from the playoffs. But after her 2004 season with the Sparks, Weatherspoon retired. So a little bit about her coaching career. So in the year 2007, Weatherspoon was the head coach of the Westchester Phantoms of the American Basketball Association. April 20, 2008, she joined the coaching staff of the Lady Texters of Louisiana Tech. February 9, 2009, she was promoted to interim head coach to replace former head coach Chris Long. April 2, 2009, she saw Louisiana Tech shed the uh, interim label and named Teresa head women's basketball coach. In 2011, she was voted in by fans as one of the top 15 players in the 15-year history of the WNBA. In 2016, Weatherspoon was named in the WNBA top 20 at 20, on September 26, 2019, Weatherspoon was named two-way player development coach for the New Orleans Pelicans. Weatherspoon was later promoted for a full-time assistant coach for the Pelicans on November 16, 2020. The Pelicans released Weatherspoon from the coaching staff in June of 2023. Of course, October 12, 2023, uh, Weatherspoon was hired to be the head coach of the Chicago Sky of the WNBA. Again, she was a starter in all of her WNBA games up into the year 2003. She was named WNBA's number two all-time in career assists. She was inducted into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame class of 2019. So again, Teresa Weatherspoon is now the head coach of the Chicago Sky. She cheers on and coaches, directs, guides, loves, and supports uh, the ladies such as Angel Reese, Camilla Cardoso, Kennedy Carter, Michaela Amyawe, Lindsay Allen, Dana Evans. Now she got Big Lotto, a.k.a. Rachel Bannon, Mariah Jefferson, Elizabeth. It's just so many you know, talented women that's on that team. And again, this is her first year being a head coach. 
of a w of a WNBA team and you know what she's doing i believe she's doing fairly well she does have some things i believe that you know a lot of us could say that that she needs to work on or that could be tweaked but again overall like she's not a terrible coach and again like it's a testament for the the way that she has been able to guide kennedy carter because again kennedy carter was um she still plays with a chip on her shoulder right but when she first got in the league she was drafted number fourth uh fourth number uh, uh overall fourth uh, draft pick and she did not like that she felt like she should be number one and like you know when she was with atlanta dream she tried to fight a teammate you know it was a whole bunch of nonsense going on with her in her career but Teresa weatherspoon she saw the the good in kennedy and she decided like you know what this woman is misunderstood this young lady just needs some guidance and a little bit of love and you know some discipline and she she offers that not only to kennedy carter but to all the ladies of the chicago sky again she's very chill laid back you know a uh, tough but fair coach and i love that so again this has been my coach appreciation so shout out to coach weatherspoon Shout out to Chicago Sky and all the ladies of the Chicago Sky. Shout out to our skyscrapers. I can't wait to see them defeat Phoenix Mercury this Thursday, y'all. We're only two days away. Just stick with me, y'all. Just stick with me, okay? Just keep uh, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and liking my videos. We are back this Thursday.